not knowing your why. That's a biggie. This is foundational. I know that doesn't sound, you know, what's that to do with plumbing or business? It doesn't sound sexy, but that is the foundational thing Mm -hmm. is not knowing why you're doing what you're doing. Why you have a plumbing business in the first place. Right. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 364th episode of Potty Talk. I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, along with my co-host, the lovely Laura, where we're talking the business of plumbing, how to systemize, stylize, and monetize your plumbing business. Hey, I got a great episode headed your way, Mm -hmm. all right? Sweetheart, we're going to be talking about the three gaffes that are killing your plumbing business. Gaffes. Gaffes. Got it. Like or goofs, mess- goofs or okay. faux pas, oh. or I don't know. Faux pas. All right. Like these aren't necessarily, you know, like, well, I don't want to say like, like they're huge things, but these mm-hmm. are things that are killing mm-hmm. plumbing businesses. Sometimes um, the obvious is simple. Yes. Right. Well, the, these are simple fixes, mm-hmm. not necessarily so easy because if it's easy, everybody be doing them. That's true. And even when you are aware of them, mm-hmm. these guys aren't, aren't doing still it. still don't do it. Right. All right. Okay. And we're, we're going to mm-hmm. talk about that. Okay. But that, you know, the problem is- is that you know ninety five percent of all plumbing businesses fail? Okay, that's, that's a the stats. that's a scary stat. That's that's a real stat. Ninety five percent, ninety five percent of all plumbing businesses fail. Okay, okay. If you if you compare that to you know those that you know thinking of climbing Mount Everest, okay, you know it's, it's a pretty scary thing. I know I'm just going with this. This hit me. You know, <laughs> just the kind of. You know, everyone goes, I'm in, I'm in, I got my plumbing business and I'm out there doing my plumbing business, but 95% of all you die. Okay. <laughs> but if you talk about, you know, well, would you climb Mount Everest? No, I want to climb Mount Everest. You die up there. Well, less than 3% mm-hmm. of everyone who's climbed Mount Everest has, has died. Oh. <laughs> of all the, that's an interesting analogy. Right. Well, I mean, less than three three percent. <laughs> mm-hmm. well, I, I wouldn't climb Mount Everest, but I'll start a plumbing company. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I I just it just hit me. I just levels like, of dying, I, I, I guess that, right. too. You know, so <laughs> actual death versus the death of a well, plumbing it's, business. But it's a lot riskier. <laughs> well, starting okay. your own plumbing business. Okay, I'll go with you on this. Okay. <laughs> So 90, when you think of 95% of all that's plumbing, a the plumbing, it is a lot. That's more okay. than 50%. But another sad, sad statistic, statistic. <laughs> <laughs> another sad statistic <laughs> is that of the 5% that are left mm-hmm. remaining, okay, 97% of those, mm-hmm. 97% of those mm-hmm. simply are doing just that, surviving, mm-hmm. living paycheck to paycheck. Not growing and being right. profitable. Right. And- One step up, two steps back. Mm-hmm. We get it. We okay. were there. All right. We, did, we certainly did that in the beginning. We were, we were hanging on. Then there were a few times, I think, I can't remember what year it was of our plumbing business. I know it was 2008 you know, and nine where the crash happened. Um, boy, we, we took a beating. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, but that's, you know, because it, that was, that, you know, that happened to that be, was an was economy, the economy thing, thing right. that was happening and, mm-hmm. you know, that, that kind of hit it. Yes. Um, you know, in the earlier days, we were part of that. Well, we felt like we were dying. We were that 97% living yes. paycheck to paycheck. Mm-hmm. And what can be a little deceptive of this, this idea of living paycheck to paycheck and, you know, basically owning your job is that you have the things. I mean, we, we had the, the, the house, the nice house in the cul-de-sac. Mm-hmm. We had your regular middle America, right? right. Had uh-huh. two cars, you know. We had the minivan, the American Dream, the Sport Edition. Okay, <laughs> no, it's still not cool. Sorry, no, it still wasn't cool, <laughs> right? Um, you know, but we had, you know, we had the, the two cars. You know, we went to Disney World. Mm-hmm. You know, you know that American kind of stuff. Dream. We could, right? Yeah. But we were living paycheck to paycheck. True. We were mm-hmm. that ninety-seven percent mm-hmm. living paycheck to paycheck, mm-hmm. week to week. Mm-hmm. All right, and it's because we see it all the time. It's because. We at the same time at this time were doing the same thing. Yeah. We were we were committing these gaffes. Okay, well, these three gaffes. So you want to talk about them? Let's get into it. After oh. we thank our sponsor. Yes, How thank you. That? Oh, whoa, <laughs> boy, I could have gotten in trouble for that. Let's get to it. Okay. All right. <laughs> As you know, making the phone ring and often is vital to your success. No kidding. That's why I'm a fan of Search Kings. Yes, I am. They make your phone ring. Search Kings is a Google Premier partner. They're Google experts, so you don't have to be. Mm-hmm. Ain't that good news? Uh, yeah, and Google's always changing it up. Right. Trying to stay on top of Google. Good luck with that. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> but Search King stays on top of it. Mm-hmm. Search, Search Kings has helped many of my clients generate leads on Google local service and in Google ads. And I know they'll help you too. Yes, they will. If you need your phone to ring, use Search Kings and tell them Richard sent you and you need the million dollar plumber VIP treatment. 
Uh-huh. We've just talked with Lauren or they whatever. Did. Talked, mm-hmm. they, they, treat, they treat our clients and Potty Talk listeners very well. Very All right. Well. Yeah, we've so, actually got an episode with Lauren coming up. Yes. Mm-hmm. So go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash search kings. That's themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash search kings and plumb like a champion. All yeah, right. Let's, let's get it. out of here. What's the three so gaffes? So here's the or thing. Graphs, you got to get rid of these gaffes to plumb like a champion. All right. Number one. Uh, okay. Number one. Mm-hmm. All right. The number one gaff. Mm-hmm. All right. That we, that we make. Yes. Not charging enough. <laughs> Not charging enough. Well, I can't charge anymore. It's only what my market will bear. Uh, uh, that's right. <laughs> wrong. Uh, wrong. Right. <laughs> okay. Right. Not charging enough. And I know how, you know, when we got into it, we all make this the same mistake. Okay. First of all, we don't know why we're charging what we're charging, which is a huge mistake. Mm-hmm. Okay. But we just, we just take the prices that, you know, the price book from the last company we worked for. And we, we started. Did that. Yeah, we did. Mm-hmm. I hate to admit it, but yeah. we, hey. We, we all did it. I know you did it too. Okay. <laughs> and I've done it as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. We take the prices or the price book from the last place we worked. And then maybe we take 10% off. 10% I'll off. I'll show that. I'll take 10% <laughs> off. I'm coming in underneath them. All right. Okay. I actually totally remember doing this. I know. I, ooh, <laughs> we'll get all the work. Uh-huh. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or we're out there, you know, we're at the, uh, the supply house. I see this happening all the time and guys are talking, you know, they pull, you know, come up to they belly up to the bar. It's like something out, you know, the old West, oh. <laughs> you know, you walk in the doors, you know, the folding doors, you uh-huh. know, to the right, parts and check, house. right. And parts uh-huh. house and you walk up to the, you know, to the counter or whatever. And you, you know, the guys are standing there. What do you charge for a water heater? <laughs> you know, and like, they're going to tell you the truth. Right. Like they know. <laughs> Would you tell them the right. truth? <laughs> Okay. But, oh, but we, we think, you know, that's, that's mm-hmm. what it is. Right. So we, we get, we get that kind of information and we take 10% off. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, we'll get them there. Okay. <laughs> or my favorite mm-hmm. is we just simply pull it out of our arse. Mm-hmm. You know, I think I can get this right. or I've gotten this before. Right. So or I'm going to charge $50 an hour for my labor and then I'll, and then parts on top of that. Right. And don't even mark the parts up. Right. Right. It's just, I'm just doing whatever I think I can get, what I need, whatever, right. mm-hmm. that kind of thing, which is just killer. Or it depends okay. on when you pull up to the house. Right. What kind of house is it? What kind of cars are in the driveway? Exactly. Right. What can I get? Right. It's not the way to do business. Not the way to do it. So not okay. charging enough. But not charging enough. Okay. And really what it comes down to when we're not charging enough is it ain't about plumbing. Where have you heard me say that before? It ain't about plumbing. So that's one of the biggest things to get across. You're not selling plumbing. You're not selling plumbing. Mm-hmm. You're not selling plumbing. <laughs> okay. You're selling time. Mm-hmm. You're selling time. And the, the big problem is, is we're not selling all of our time. We're just selling the time that we're, it takes to do the task. Right. And, I'll, and I'll even go a little bit further. The quick way that I can do the task. I can do that task. Super you know, fast. Right. Mm-hmm. So that's all the time we're going to charge for. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. No, but you need to charge for all your time. Mm-hmm. And not just the time it takes to do the job, mm-hmm. but all the time. The time it takes to do the accounting. Get okay. the parts. Right. Get work the on, parts. Work on your branding. Right. All the things. All that. You're mm-hmm. charging that customer right. for, for all that time. Okay. So all that time has to be figured into the job. Yep. Okay. And we go over that. Um, I know we're going to talk about the Success Academy a little bit later, but we do go over that. The very first module in the Success Academy, how to walk through and figure out your honest hourly rate. And right. I know we're going to be, we've got an upcoming episode of Potty Talk where we, we literally walk through it. Um, walking through exactly how to figure out what your true honest hourly rate right. is. Right. We call it your honest hourly rate because if you're just pulling it out of your arse or you're just copying off someone else and you don't know why you're charging what you're charging, you're not being honest. Right. In fact, in fact you're stealing from the customer. Mm-hmm. And yourself. I, and right. Your which is right. Is mm-hmm. even more important. You're mm-hmm. stealing from yourself and your family. Mm-hmm. All right. But if you don't know why you're charging what you're charging. Right. But you want to be charging for all your time. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. That it takes to run the business. Also. Mm-hmm. You need to charge for all your expenses, mm-hmm. all your expenses, not okay. just, not, not just the, the expenses of the, of the job itself, parts the or, parts, that mm-hmm. kind of thing, but right. all your expenses, your customer pays for, for everything. everything, customer pays for everything. Mm-hmm. The customer pays your rent. Mm-hmm. The customer pays for your, your truck leases. Your customer pays for the insurance. Mm-hmm. Customer pays for the other customers that screwed you. Okay. For your, for your branding, for right. or, or your marketing. I don't know if you said marketing, think about right. it too. And that's how all businesses operate. Just when you go to Walmart and you buy a jar of pickles, you're not just paying for a jar of pickles, right? There's, there's expensive 
expenses that are in that that covers Walmart's operating expenses. Right. So for that, when that jar of pickles falls off the back of the truck when they're unloading it and it breaks and that's 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 gone or wasted mm-hmm. or they whatever, we pay for that. It's built that's into the cost pay. for that loss. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. We need to do the same thing. Right. Real businesses do the same thing. Correct. Sadly, most plumbing businesses do not. True. Okay. So, oh, so using your example of Taco Bell, <laughs> right? Taco Bell, Richard's favorite place is Taco Bell. I'm sure if you've I'm listened to, to a, Potty Talk I'm long enough. i trying to be good. You brought you know it back that, up I know. Again. I'm sorry. Um, bean You're burrito. tempting me. <laughs> bean burrito minus onions. Add sour cream and extra cheese. My food porn. Right. It is your food porn for sure. But that they're just not charging you for the sour cream, the onions and the beans and the tortilla, right? It's for all of Taco Bell's operating expenses. There's, it's built into that. Right. So the, the loss when something, when isn't something prepared, right. And they got to throw it away. I'm, I'm being charged for that. I'm being charged for um, the training of their, of their personnel. For research and development. What's that's, a, what's a new product? That's a biggie. When right? they say they're coming out, With when they're trying to figure out. some crunchy Dorito yeah, laden extra, thing. Right. That, mm-hmm. You know, heart attack and a. Yeah, heart attack and a sack. You know, mm-hmm. right. They're charging you for char- that. Right. Think about that. Because how else are they going to make that money? Right. How else are they going to have that money? Not make that money. Have that money to do those things. It's built into the cost for of the, the taco. For the personnel to be working on that. Correct. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Same um, goes with your plumbing business. Right. Customer pays for everything. Mm-hmm. So we need to charge our customers for everything. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then finally, all right, it's, it's marking up the materials and the subs mm-hmm. 100%. Correct. Okay. Mm-hmm. We fail to mark up our, our parts and our materials and, and our use of our, our subs mm-hmm. that do the work. Right. We fail to mark that up. You know, we'll, we, we think we don't, you know, we mark it up 10, 20%. Okay. I'm making money on it. No, you're not. No. Okay. You're big. I'll mark it up 40%. I'll really get, no, you're not. Nope. There's so much loss mm-hmm. in materials. In, in the lost time, um, as far as, you know, warranty work or materials being crunched, you know, law, I like the example of the pickles falling off the, you know, mm-hmm. that that's built into the cost of not only the pickles there at Walmart, but, mm-hmm. but the other stuff as well. Correct. They cover that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And warranty as far as labor, if you have to go back on something. Right. right? So yeah, all, all the things. So mark up, mark up your materials 100%. So uh, for example, um, you know, a toilet, toilet costs you a hundred dollars cost you a hundred dollars. You're going to sell that toilet for $200. Mm-hmm. All right. Water heater costs you $700. You're going to sell it for $1,400. Right. And you're not putting that in a, a line item in a T&M, you know, time and materials. It's in your flat, again, it's in your flat rate. So it right. is one, one task that has everything built in. So after you go through and, and figure out what the, the cost needs to be for installing a, a water heater, then it's a one flat rate that right. you put on there, not broken down by labor and time and materials. You will freak your customer out. Right. It's a, it's a flat rate world, it not a, a time and material world. world. Taco Bell doesn't do that. Walmart right. doesn't do they that. They don't break down their costs. Yeah. Go right. look at the receipt on Walmart yeah. and see if they have broken down. Time and material. Yeah. For, or owner salary and, you know, leasing and insurance and well, right. of course not. How much time they spent on getting this, this jar of pickles to right. the, <laughs> and then the, you know, the materials broken down and here's right. how much the, the jar costs and mm-hmm. here's how much the pickles cost. And here's, it, we just don't, it's even silly. See, it's mm-hmm. silly. He's talking like that. Right. All right. So plumbing companies, this exact same right. business is business is right. business. But, mm-hmm. but you need to mark it up. So even, even your sub, like for us, we, um, uh, use our, you know, sub to do our dig jobs for our sewers. Mm-hmm. Okay. Which, which, which I liked, I didn't want all the equipment and the specialized guys, you know, you know, I can, I can get on a backhoe. I mean, any guy, you know, that's halfway decent, get on a backhoe, but it's still a skill working a backhoe. Right. And so, you know, we talk about that as part of the MDP way is, is um, we, you know, the freedom lifestyle of not being, hold into any one you can plug and play right mm-hmm. so we didn't want a you know a backhoe operator because that is a skill mm-hmm. so when that person this guy decides to leave or i got to fire that guy i can't you know right. now i don't have anyone operate my backhoe so we subbed it out mm-hmm. so like our sub may be two two thousand dollars well i'm charging customer four thousand mm-hmm. dollars you see what i mean we're marking that yep. up okay mm-hmm. all right so you got to do it okay not charging enough is killing you Okay. Killing you at worst. Okay. Mm -hmm. At best, it's just keeping you living paycheck to paycheck. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not charging enough. All right. Number two. Yes. All right. That is a gaffe that uh, we are making. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's not working for the right customer (laughs) just because they have a plumbing problem or want you to take, do some kind of plumbing work. Doesn't mean that they're the right customer Mm -hmm. for you. Okay. Or certainly, um, a right customer that you can win with, that, that you can, that you can build the freedom lifestyle with. Okay. That you can create wealth with. Okay, I'm not talking about money walking, you know, walking through your business. I'm talking right. about 
creating wealth, okay? Mm -hmm. Financial wealth, money, okay? And also time, time wealth, extremely important. So, mm -hmm. so what does the right customer look like? Okay. okay. So, well, first of all, the right customer, there's lots of customers. Lots to choose from. Lots of customers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not, not jobs, lots of customers. Mm -hmm. So let's look at, uh, you know, like um, building, building, building you know, you know, new construction, for new construction okay, that kind of a thing. All right. mm -hmm. Okay. All right. A builder has promises, you know, if you do this for this price or whatever, you know, I got, I do lots of houses. I'll give you all I'll give you all my, my houses. I'll give you all my houses. Okay. What is that? 10, 15, 20, 50. It doesn't, it, do, it doesn't matter. Okay. If they're operating at a loss on every one of them. <laughs> right. Do the right. math. Okay. And there's other issues there. Right. Okay. It's not made up in volume. Right. <laughs> right. Right. Make up the loss in volume. <laughs> huh? Huh? Okay. But with that, is again, you may have, they may, may have 10 houses for you. All right. But it's one customer. Correct. One customer. Mm -hmm. And so what does that look like? Because you're taking all that time. You're eating up your day with one customer. One customer. Who may decide. That, that someone else comes along and can do the work for $10 less, mm -hmm. which is how they're driven, by the way. Or whatever reason. Whatever, whatever reason it could not could be money or woke it, up on the wrong side of the bed. Their buddy started a plumbing company and they want to give them a shot. Right. It, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's one, it's mm -hmm. one customer right. that, that you're beholden to that all this, you know, yeah, you may have 10 houses, 15 houses they give you whatever. And you, mm -hmm. in your work, you feel like you're working you busy, right? Busy, but you have one customer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, that's not the right, the right customer. Same right. goes for like the commercial. I do commercial. You see the guys that get wrapped mm -hmm. up in the commercial work. You know, it's like, okay, well, Walmart, okay, we got all the Walmarts in our district here. Okay, we got 15 Walmarts, mm -hmm. but you're dealing with one, one, one yeah, person. Maybe a GM or something over all of the, right. the locations. So, which we had, we actually had this experience with, uh, I'll, I'll just say with Target. We had all the Targets. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. But the one person, my, my, my contact changed. <laughs> And the candy girl. <laughs> the, she was the can't used to be the candy buyer. The candy buyer. Up in Minneapolis where right. Target's at. Right, Minneapolis. Yeah, right. Now okay. be, now became a head of maintenance. She's right. got a, some kind of it knows nothing. Promotion, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> so the candy girl <laughs> now decided because well, she wants to make her own way now. Mm -hmm. We lost the right. she wants to bring in her own. She found someone to do it right. cheaper. Lost all the I mean mm -hmm. does it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. You want lots of Lots of customers. Okay. okay. All right. You also want to deal with the person that directly benefits from your service. Oh, that's so good. Yes. Directly benefits from the service. Who understands the value, wants the value, right. appreciates the value. Right. Benefits from the value. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the, not the, the, again, the buyer for who's in the target an, um, analogy, not right. target where she's up in Minneapolis and the store in where we were in Indianapolis, what does she care about the, the toilets or the faucets or whatever? She, they're not hers. They're she not doesn't hers, use doesn't it. Care. She doesn't, right. It right. doesn't, it doesn't right. benefit her. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we want to directly benefit. Mm -hmm. All right. Someone who directly benefits from providing our service. Correct. That's the perfect okay. customer. All right. Mm -hmm. That, that, that is the perfect customer right there. Okay. The right customer to work for. Mm -hmm. And then finally, and this is a biggie. Mm -hmm. All right. Listen up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pays. Today. <laughs> Wait, okay. I want to invoice. No, I want to get the money in the bank today. <laughs> Wait, I want to invoice and give them 30 days. Get the money in the bank today. All right. I'm not operating like a bank. No. Okay, we're Guys, not. If, you, if any of you are still doing well, we'll send you a bill once we leave. You are a dead man plumbing. Oh, man. You're a dead man plumbing. There is no excuse. There is no excuse in this day and age to not collect at the time of service. Um, people, all people have some sort of credit, credit card or debit card. A check, most people don't do checks anymore, but they have a way to pay. It is ludicrous to not take money when a job is done. Amen. So, All right. And it's, if it's, if you're not, it's, it's out of laziness or just. Um, or it's the old, old way. I mean, I get it. It used, right. to, it used to be people say, oh, I'll send you a bill later. And then they get around to doing invoicing. Oh, maybe once a month. And then the customer receives the invoice you know, 10 days after the work's done and they've got 30 days to pay it. Do you think they're going to be in a big hurry? 
to pay that? Of course right. not. Of course not. No, I get no it. problem's I, over. We see it all the time. Mm-hmm. I mean, and, 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 and look, I get it. We started, we almost died this way, starting, starting out. Working, working <laughs> I know. Different, we, start, we did all, we, we did we all we the dumb every, stuff. We made every mistake. That, that's why I have the authority to sit here and talk that's to you. Mm-hmm. It's because I've made every mistake. So we're trying <laughs> then, to keep you from doing it. More than survive, we thrived. Mm-hmm. Okay. We don't want you to make the same mistakes. Mistake is thinking that you're making it because I got the, you know, the builder contract or I got the commercial contract. Right. That's just work. It, it, it's just keeping you work. Mm-hmm. But wh- what comes along with those with not, you know, you really don't have a lot of customers. You have a lot of jobs, but you don't have a lot of customers, mm-hmm. which is a danger, you know, t- diversification, right? Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's the not whole all idea. your eggs in one basket. Right. All right. Um, you know, you're not only dealing with that, um, you, you're, you're being beat down. You know that when you work, you're not charging for all your expenses, all right. your time, mm-hmm. you know, th- th- they want to add this to you. And of course now they got the authority. We got, you know, we got 20 stores over you, you know, I, I'll take, there's always, always that threat there. I'll take right. my 20 stores with you if you don't do this for free. I mean, they're implying that. Correct. You owe me. Or even right. with the builders, um, again, we're going back to, I know, to yeah. the other point, but you, the builders who will constantly say, well, yeah, I've got one, you know, a change notice now, you know, I don't, I don't want to fill out a change notice. I want you to just come back and mm. tweak this, or now you got to wait on the drywall guy or the, right. the electrician or blah, blah, bleh, blah. Right. Um, so You're, yeah, it's, 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 a losing, it's a losing, losing situation. Mm-hmm. Again, you know, you can say, well, you so point, well, these companies right. are making big money, you know, by doing building. Well, those are big companies and it's a whole nother game being right. played. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of under the table paybacks and stuff that's, that's happening. Mm-hmm. That you just, you just can't play that game. Well, and they have deeper pockets. I know we're right. talking about collecting at the time of service, right? Right. right. They yeah. can be, they, they have, they're set up with the fine. They can behave more like a bank. Correct. All right. They, yeah, they can much, do it. Much deeper pockets where they can, I know we're talking, again, talking about collecting they can wait on their money right now. It's it's crazy to do jobs where you're having to, to wait on your money. Right. And that's what you have to do with commercial and with starting up and growing. You can't, you can't wait on your money. You, you you've heard cash is king cash. If cash is king, cash flow is God. Yes. You got to get, you got to get that money flow. in the bank. I'd much rather have $500 today than the promise of $5,000 next week. Mm-hmm. And it's never next week. Right. It's right <laughs> and you're ch- that's the other thing. You're chasing your money. If you're not collecting at the time of service, you are chasing your money. Right. Um, again, if it's um, um, a builder or something, they're not in a big hot hurry to pay you. And they may even say, well, you need to wait until I until the house gets done and then I can blah, blah, blah. Okay. Well, what if he gets delayed and paid or, or what, you know, being paid, whatever. You have to get paid right. at the time of service. Right. Cash flow. Right. Paid today. Mm-hmm. Money in the bank today. Yep. All right. Okay. Hey, you want to know something else that's money in the bank? Sure. All right. It's my MDP blueprint. <laughs> it's money in the bank for you. Mm-hmm. All right. In it, my MDP blueprint, I lay out the exact specs that you need to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. All right. Hey, you wouldn't you wouldn't plumb a house, you know, without a blueprint. Mm-hmm. So why are you trying to build this plumbing business without a blueprint? Oh. Blueprint. I mean, it's it's. I'm gonna it's stupid silly. is stupid does. <laughs> as Forrest Gump said, you know. <laughs> all right. So hey, grab grab your free copy. I mean, it's free. Mm-hmm. All right. Simply go to the million dollar plumber dot com forward slash free mm-hmm. and grab your free copy of the million dollar plumber blueprint. Yep. There we go. All right. All right. Grab hey, it. So okay. Yeah. So you're making in your plumbing business, right? So we mm-hmm. talked about number one. We talked about not charging enough. Not charging enough, right? Biggie, mm-hmm. all right. And number two. All right. Not working for the right customer. The right customer. Not every person has plumbing or wants you to do their plumbing is the right customer. Correct. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. And then finally, and this this is this is foundational. Oh, wait, before this. you go on, I forgot to say one thing. Oh, go right ahead. <laughs> that was supposed to say that after um, the, the blueprint. If you are watching us or wherever you're listening to us, be sure to follow us out on social media. If you like this co- these type of conversations and um, interaction, we're out at all the the channels, YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and everywhere. And hopefully somewhere um, there's a place where you can subscribe or follow um, somewhere here on the device here, listening or watching. So please go and give us a, a like, a follow, all that. All right. I'm glad you're here. All right. Share the love. All right. Let's get back to... Finally, what, what's another gap? The final gap here? Yep, let's hear it. Okay. Not knowing your why. Mm. That's a biggie. This is foundational. I know that doesn't sound, you know, what's that to do with plumbing or business? It doesn't sound sexy, but that is the foundational thing mm-hmm. is not knowing why you're doing what you're doing. Why you have a plumbing business in the first place. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it's, 
um, I, I don't even have the right, the right words to, to say about it. It's the, if, if it's, it's not plumbing, I can, I can assure you that you don't love plumbing enough to put up with when, all the when, crap. Right. Because mm -hmm. the business and just, again, the, these are simple things. We, we share simple things for you to do. Mm -hmm. It's just not easy. Mm -hmm. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. Right. We, we have a tendency to want to fight these things. Oh, it has to be harder, mm -hmm. more complicated. So certainly, you know, or I don't, I'm on, I can't charge more. My, I'm, I'm, it's this area. We're so special. It's so different here. People are so different here. The customers are different. I can't charge that. No, that's a lie. I mean, mm -hmm. if you're caught up in that head trash and that kind of thing, mm -hmm. you know, we can't get past, you know, get past that. Well, and but, if you started a plumbing business, more than likely you were a great plumber working right. for whatever company, right. And you decided I'm going to go out on my own. I want I want to have my own thing. Um, I want to make, the, make the money for me instead of making it for, for someplace else, which is great. Right. But if you, and if you started a plumbing business and you're a great plumber, but you didn't know anything about business, I'm sure it's hitting you, right? Oh, right. Crap. This is more than just plumbing, right? I got to figure out how to make my phone ring. I got to figure out who's going to answer my phone. I've got an insurance thing and taxes and I need to have a different type of truck and okay, well, what about, what kind of trucks do I get? And then parts I have, I've got to have a relationship with a parts out, I mean, all the things, right. It's, it's all hitting you. And that's right. not something you think about when you, when you strike nope. out. Right. So that's why you, you have to know your why on why you're going to put up with all of that stuff that you need to put up with to grow and build a plumbing business. Right. You have to know the reason that you're doing it and it's, and it's not plumbing. It's, it's not, it's not plumbing. It's not that I want to provide the best customer service, you no. know, all these things. No. It's not that I want to save the world. <laughs> I want to make the world a better place by having great plumbing in the world. I want to sound like a beauty contestant. World hot hunger. Right. <laughs> you know, it, 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 I know and, and I, it's not politically correct. Man, okay. And you start feeling, well, we got to do, you know, no, you know, I want to save, I want animals. I just want to be able to save all the animals in the world with my plumbing. Well, which maybe you which, can, which may be where the why, <laughs> on why I have my, right. Right. Because maybe is, you do want to have, you know, her. contribute to PETA or whatever. And, but you need the money to do it. You got to have the money to do it. And you right. get the money by having an asset that is profitable, making you money. And then you can do whatever you want with it. It's your money. Right. Get what, whatever you want with it. So it's understanding why. Why you're doing it. Why why I'm doing what I'm doing. Right. Is it is it family reasons? Is it, you know, right. when we talk to people, the first thing that people always say is freedom. I wanted the freedom. That's my why. Okay, well, what is freedom look like? Right. You can't just say freedom because that's not something you can really um, tangibly, um, uh, not, um, how do you say it? Well, you can't measure it. Right. You, you can't, can't measure what it. is freedom. Right. right. Um, so you get, what does freedom look like to you? Is it that you always are off on Fridays so that you can go fishing or take a three day weekend with your wife, which you probably should do soon. Most people need to do that. Don't do it enough. Um, is it something to where, you know, I want to be off by three every day because I want to go pick up my kids and um, after school and be with them. Is it because I want to, um, provide for, for my kids. So when they're, you know, to send them to college or to send them to a great trade school or to um, be able to, when they get married, to put a down payment on a house, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. It's your why, but you have to know what it is and it has to be measurable. It has to be something that you can look at, know, lo love, taste, smell, feel, see all of that. So that when you are hit in the face with all the plumbing business stuff. And you will be. And you, on multiple occasions. Right. Every day. Um, you know your why, you know the reason you're doing it, and that's what keeps you going. Saying that you want to provide a great service to the community, that is not going to get you up off the mat nope. when you get hit. Because you, you really don't care enough. No, you I can't. Mean, no, right. You just can't. And yes, of course, we have plumbing businesses that do provide right. a, a great service. And we plumbers, we protect the health of the nation, correct? Right. That is a true statement. So it, it so it, it's a byproduct that you are helping the community and helping customers. And that's great. And you want to take care of customers. You want to provide a great service. You want to be honest. You want to um, be professional, all those things. Right. Of course, just like Shaqu Shaquille and always used to say that, you know, Shaq would dunk the ball and what is he? Seven, five or something. Yeah, well, and then after he gets done dunking, he's all, oh, yeah, look at me. I'm like, please, you don't, right. you don't even have to jump to be right. able to dunk. <laughs> exactly. Right? Same thing with plumbing. Yes. Provide a great service to your customers. That's a given, right. but you got to know the reason why you have the plumbing business and why you're putting up all, all the crap. And we, we can see right away when, you know, we see whether it's someone that's in the academy or, or, you know, our private clients, our private clients that we work with and our coaches work with mm -hmm. when they're getting, starting to get a little sideways, we'll ask, 
well, why are you doing what you're doing? Mm-hmm. Are, are you working on what, as we learn in the academy and we talk, we talk about doing your daily GPS where you're writing down, mm-hmm. I am this, I have this, even before you are and right. have. Kind of your okay. goal statements. Right. Mm-hmm. That, that kind of thing. And knowing why you're going, what you, you know, where you're going. Mm-hmm. As soon as we get, they don't know, they've lost track of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because right. they've gotten caught up in the, the hamster wheel of right. a business, which, 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 which we understand. Which I happens. Mean, yeah, it totally happens. Right. But you've got, you have to be intentional about right. it. And we see it on the back end as well. <laughs> so what, what happens is, as we can see this, we've had where you start making money. I mean, you start, mm-hmm. you know, we act, you actually do get your butt out of the truck. That mm-hmm. was your initial why. Right. You get your butt out of the truck and then be able to have more time with your family. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then that happens. And there's this guilt, you know, all of a sudden, if we, if we get lose track of our why, or even come up with another why mm-hmm. of why, why we're doing what we're doing now that I've achieved my why. Mm-hmm. We get lost and it becomes, why well, you know, this is all fluff or what, mm-hmm. this, what's, why, what, what does all this mean? Right. You start feeling guilty mm-hmm. or get, uh, I got a million dollars in the bank. Uh, what, uh, it was too easy. <laughs> well, it wasn't easy. You did all the work, but now right. it's there. Mm-hmm. So you're at, you're at another level. Correct. And we can see those that all of a sudden when you come from nothing and have something, mm-hmm. you just kind of freak out a little bit if you don't know what your why is. You don't know the reason why you're doing it. Right. Mm-hmm. You know? So, and we talk about that, and I know maybe this is a great segue. We do talk right. about that in detail in the Success Academy, um, really helping you walk through the reason that you have the plumbing business. And I know, again, we've said, it sounds like, well, that's easy. Well, it really isn't. If right. you really walk through some of the exercises we have, it really forces you to think, why Why I have it? Why am I going to put, put up with all the things I'm going to put up with? Why am I going to put my family through the stress of starting a business in, in the early years and all that entails, Right. Why are you doing it? So Success Academy um, is is a great place to learn all that. Right. Great seg- segue there, <laughs> which we do want to push it towards. Mm-hmm. You know, I, um, I was told by my, you know, we all have, have a coach or something like that. Mm-hmm. The best, ha- the best have a coach, mm-hmm. you know, my, whether you're athletes, you know, Mike, Michael Jordan um, in his day had a, you know, he was the best, mm-hmm. still had a coach. I mean, I'm not talking about the coach that sits on the sidelines right. or, or the bench with mm-hmm. him. We're talking about someone that works with him to keep building him. Mm-hmm. You know, the same with Tom Brady. Tom Brady has a personal Ugh. coach outside. Of, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, right. from, from Indianapolis. Peyton Manning it's, fans. It's a requirement to hate right. Tom Brady. <laughs> okay. Hey, no. Sorry, Tom. <laughs> so, but, but anyway, but they have a coach, you know, and we, we have a coach, even at a different level. Okay. It just keeps, keeps pushing you. Mm-hmm. And, you know, part of, I've been coached to, you know, I should push the academy more because we're, I do believe in it. Mm-hmm. I, I see it. Anyone who's gone into the academy goes from zero to hero. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, you know, you can spend the next 10 years risking the next 10 years, figuring mm-hmm. it out right. and losing all that time and money, mm-hmm. or you can take the shortcut. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and, and learn from my example. Correct. And we actually tell you the right things you need to put in play, mm-hmm. which is okay. the success academy, which is the success academy. Mm-hmm. And, and part of what we do cover in success academy, in fact, it's the, success, the second module, which I really would like it to be the first module. It's mm-hmm. the why is your why mm-hmm. it is so foundational. However, we get you the win. You know, the first module is figuring out your pricing, is figuring out your pricing, right. your honest hourly rate. So, mm-hmm. so you feel better and we get you, you know, and you're making guys right. after the very first module, you're making more money. Right. We, it is a guarantee. You, you are making more money. If you follow all the steps, you will make more money in your plumbing business. Right. So to get the success Academy, you can go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash success. And get a 14 day free trial. You still doing that? Uh, yeah, I'm always still doing that. I'm, just giving it away. <laughs> well, again, right. we say all the time, we just right. we want to hook you. And within, seriously, if you do it, follow what it says, it is a hook. You'll you be think, making more money. Who's, how's this guy going to get you? Mm-hmm. Is, that's is it. Guy, that's it. You're going to end up I loving get, us, whether right. you know it or not. We, we see it in the data. <laughs> we get you the 14 day, you see what's there, you're hooked. All right. right. So, <laughs> all right. All so right. go out there, milliondollarplumber.com forward slash success. There we go. All okay. right. These are the gaffes. Mm-hmm. Okay. These are the three gaffes that are, that are killing, killing plumbing businesses. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. So or don't at the very do them. least just get, you know, just, just getting by week to week, paycheck mm-hmm. to paycheck, not charging enough. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Not working for the right customer and not knowing your why. So, all right. So get it together. So stop all right. those gaffes. All right. Okay, everybody. Good. All right. Mm-hmm. Good stuff there. Mm-hmm. Hey, it's about time to wrap it up. I can see by the clock here. We're mm-hmm. running out of time, but before I let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody.